song is all about steady beat. Do you remember what steady beat is? Yeah. Every song has a steady beat. On your left. On your left. I first knew I loved music when I was a little kid. My uncle used to have a band, uh, and we would just watch them play, and their drummer threw his drumstick, and I was able to catch it at a concert. And from there, I knew I always wanted to be a drummer. So when I came here as a student, Miss Malatik kind of took me by the hand and kind of showed me the, my love of music more than just playing on a drum set or drumming. She's really one of the people that pushed me into music. My junior year in high school, uh, my band director, Volan, told me to go teach private lessons at the middle school. Um, and that's really when I decided I wanted to be a teacher. Music's important because it gives a voice to those who don't have a voice. There are a lot of kids who find music whether they're playing a boom whacker or a rhythm stick, and it kind of gives them the chance to kind of express themselves. It gives them something to comfort them. It gives them a space where they can feel uh, together with their classmates. My goal for third graders is to get used to playing instruments, and as we were playing with the play-alongs, uh, reading, literacy, music literacy, is one of the things that I'm striving towards. It's important to start music at such a young age because now is the time where you can explore they're a blank slate, they're a sponge, they absorb everything. I just hope they take away an appreciation for music. I like music because it really inspires me and I want to be a singer when I grow up and be a little famous, but not that famous. Not everyone's gonna wanna be a rock star or play their an instrument all the way through college and high school, but if they can be 25, 30, 40 years old and think back, you know, when I was with my music teacher, Mr. M, we got to do all of these fun things. And if they can share that with their kids, then that's all I can really hope for.